Hello everyone and welcome to a Halloween special of the Ride Overview series. Today we will take a look at the Haunted Mansion ride and the Ghost Train. They are essentially the same ride, but they are treated as two different rides in RST2. The only difference between them is the cars it uses, the rest is all the same. From now on I'll be referring to both rides as the Ghost Train. The Ghost Train is quite a decent gentle ride that has a decent excitement rating for a cheap price and also has a decent throughput. There is one very important and dangerous aspect to this ride though, and that is that it can fly off the tracks, just like the bobsleigh coaster. Not only can it fly off the tracks on hills, but the Ghost Train is also the only ride that can fly off the tracks if it takes a turn too fast. Crashing on hills works the same as it does with all other rides that can do that. If you go over a hill faster than 50 km per hour, you will crash. I recommend keeping the speed below 40 km per hour, as the cars will go faster with guests in them, so you want to keep a buffer. Crashing in turns happens at way lower speed, so you really need to be careful with this. In small turns, the car will crash when it goes above 31 km per hour. In tiny turns, it will crash at even lower speeds, namely at anything above 23 km per hour. To be safe, I would not take small turns above 25 km per hour and not take tiny turns above 15 km per hour when testing the ride, as they can go significantly faster when they have guests in them. The Ghost Train only has three different special elements and one stat requirement, so I'll go over them quickly. The elements are the station, brakes and spinning tunnel. The brakes are useful for controlling the speed to make sure it doesn't fly off the tracks on hills and turns. The spinning tunnel is useful as well, as having at least one of it gives a small boost to all stats. The only stat requirement the Ghost Train has is a length requirement of 180 meters. If it fails to meet that, it gets all its stats divided by 2. Now it's time to look at some designs. This first one might confuse you, as it certainly isn't the required 180 meters long, yet the length says 271 meters. When I was testing a design earlier today, I noticed this happening for the first time and it's a neat trick to make your short rides appear longer. I'll go into how it works a bit deeper in another video, so for now I will only tell you how to achieve this with this specific design. You need to have 5 cars and set the minimum waiting time during testing to at least 75 seconds. That way, when the car is done with its lap, there are still too many cars waiting for it to fit on the station. For the entire time the ride has finished but the car hasn't arrived on the station yet, the length counter keeps increasing. If it has to wait long enough, you can make this tiny lap appear to be over 180 meters long. For this ride I tested it with a minimum waiting time of 120 seconds, making the ride 271 meters long. Be careful to never set the minimum waiting time to a value higher than 126 seconds, as then the next car will never depart due to a bug. After the testing is done and the stats are determined, you can set the minimum waiting time back to something like 5 seconds and the stats will not change. I would recommend having a very short minimum waiting time for every design, as otherwise a lot of potential throughput is wasted. The next design is the smallest design that has a length of over 180 meters without using the trick used in the previous design. If that glitch ever gets fixed in OpenRST2 or you don't like using it, this design is a good one. The third design is the cheapest design that doesn't use the length trick. I think the previous design is a lot better, but I wanted to show you this one anyway. The last design is a bigger design that isn't that useful as it barely has higher stat than the previous two designs. But it can store a lot more guests, which can come in handy sometimes. In conclusion, the Ghost Train is a useful gentle ride with nice stats and a nice throughput that you have to be careful with to prevent crashes. If you want to use the designs featured in this video, they are in a zip file in the description. A calculator to determine how much you can charge for every ride is also in the description. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.